Right now, let's tell you about this. Two Virginia men were in court today for violent charges stemming from the Capitol riots, both accused of assaulting law enforcement in separate incidents on January 6th. Our chief investigative reporter Eric Flack is here with more on the possibility of plea bargains in both of these cases. Jeffrey McKellop of Fisherville, Virginia, right outside Charlottesville, back in front of a judge today, charged with a long list of crimes, including assaulting police January 6th. Our sources on this case, two body-worn camera videos released to WUSA 9 by the Department of Justice, one which allegedly shows the former Army Special Forces soldier throwing a flag like a spear at D.C. police officers, another allegedly showing McKellop charging at police who use chemical spray to fight him off. In court today, prosecutors told the judge the plea offer they had extended to McKellop was supposed to expire this month, but the government extended the deadline because it has not been able to hand over all the video evidence they have against McKellop to his defense attorney, to which McKellop's attorney told the judge, quote, it's unprecedented that the government would choose to indict a case when they're not even close to done investigating a case. That's crazy. The judge asked both sides to come back late next month when all the video evidence against the Fisherville man has been turned over. Also today, the Department of Justice told a judge their plea offer is written and on the table for Williamsburg, Virginia's Jonathan Mellis. Mellis is facing his own host of criminal charges, including assaulting police officers with a dangerous weapon. Our source on this case, the Department of Justice's charging documents, which include these images of Mellis allegedly using this large stick or wooden object to repeatedly strike and stab police battling the violent mob at the Lower West Terrace of the U.S. Capitol. Those DOJ charging documents also alleging Mellis was aiming for officers' necks between their helmets and body armor where they are not protected. Prosecutors gave Mellis until early October to decide whether or not to accept their plea offer, but cautioned there will not be another one. Both Mellis and McKellop remain behind bars at the D.C. jail. Judges in each case ruling their alleged assaults on police were so severe they would be a danger to the community if released before their trials. We do not yet know the terms of either plea offer to the Virginia men. So we'll see what they decide. Flack, thank you as always.